and you apply what I call enlightenment by elimination, and you just start dropping everything that doesn't feel good radically. If that person doesn't feel good, drop it. Say, I love you, bye-bye. If this task that you have been doing doesn't resonate, say, I love you, thank you, bye-bye. Just throw everything in a trash bin that doesn't feel good and lined with respect and integrity, but also not too much. Meaning that when I say too much, I mean, there is not really such a thing as too much integrity, but there is such a thing as misplaced integrity, which is simply responsibility disguised as being, you know, responsibility is being afraid. When you don't want to let go of your responsibilities, it's simply you're afraid to let go of them because you don't think what's going to happen. And then you might be tempted to call your responsibilities integrity. But they're not the same thing. If you keep surrounding your life with the responsibilities that don't belong to your true joy, you're not being in integrity with yourself, which is your only means to express existence. So better do something about it. Start seeing responsibilities as different from integrity and start making your integrity super flexible, super malleable, super dynamic, honoring of the other person's expectations to an extent, but clearly stating who you are, first of all, being clear on who you are in such a circumstance, what you stand for, what excites you, and then communicating that to your existing seeming agreements as best as you can. And always knowing that since there is only infinite parallel realities, there's never a blockage possible unless it's relevant for you to learn something out of that limited experience. But usually speaking, you can always ask for greater creativity in a circumstance, in a dynamic, in an agreement to get out of the agreement or to transform the agreement in a way that's still in integrity with the being that seems to be at the other end of that agreement, yet allows you to do exactly what you want to do. There's always a way unless you really, really have to stop and learn from that limitation. But usually there's always a way. Well, technically, mechanically speaking, there's always a way around it. But sometimes higher self chooses that, no, this is actually what you want to experience and learn from. But always try to see if you can get past it by A, learning the lesson, and by B, knowing that you can. Knowing that there is a way to creatively renegotiate all your agreements in your life, whether they are verbal agreements with people or energetic agreements with your own mind or belief system. Change them so that they actually accompany and support you living your joy and inspiring and waking up feeling light every day. Drop whatever doesn't feel good. Can you do that?